My dear child, I've ensured that nothing is lacking for you. I promise this as your provider. I am attuned to your situation and needs. Do not distress over your current situation. Close your eyes, recall my word, and move forward in your life. There are numerous doors surrounding you that shall swing open. Proceed and approach these doors with determination and conviction. I command you to do so. When you undertake this, do so without fear. I shall place upon your lips the words you need to utter. Make the decision today and progress along your path. Do not remain immobilized by fear. When you rise and walk, the windows of heaven will open for you, and I will shower you with abundant and genuine blessings. You will reap provisions of plenty, free from debt and debtors. You will receive even more than your expectations. For sharing, giving and blessing, you will continue to sow and reap. Thus, it will be henceforth every day, every month and every year. Therefore, revisit and listen to these words until you clearly understand my command. Nourish yourself with my written word and advance resolutely. It is time for you to awaken, for your faith to ignite, kindle and accelerate the plan I have had for you for a long time. Leave behind all memories of defeat, all guilt. Decide to persist, to fight daily and pay no heed to the rumors and attacks of people. Forgive, continue, forget and move forward. My words will be your light, your faith will be like a sword and I will assist you in carving a path through the obstacles you may encounter. Decide to persevere, for I will provide you with the strength to fight. I reiterate, I am your shepherd, your provider. I know your needs and I will supply what you lack and more. Declare with your lips, with all your heart, that you will continue to fight, live and believe without fear of the distressing news that alarms you. I know why I do the things I do. I have the final word. With my power, I can calm roaring winds, part the sea, make you walk upon the turbulent waves, lift you from the bed of pain, heal your body and grant your soul healing. I receive your tears when this world betrays you with pain and affliction. You seek refuge in your faith. You love me. You believe in me. My presence envelops you manifests in you. You, and once again, I will fill your entire being with love and peace amid the breath. It is true, time does not heal wounds. I heal them without leaving scars. The trials of this life will not mark you. Difficulties have helped you grow wiser. I will also relieve you of bad memories. That's why my hands were fastened to a cross with cold and cruel nails, to bear your suffering to cleanse your guilt with my shed blood, to grant you my grace, to remove all burdens and sorrows from your heart. In good times and bad, in health or sickness, my presence will not depart from you. You have my promise. I will perform mighty miracles in your life. Through them, I demonstrate what is possible when my word is received and obeyed, with a humble heart, accepting both trial and blessing equally. There are strong situations I will change for your benefit, battles and trials that will lead you to a better place, conflicts that will make you stronger. You will face situations that will enhance your wisdom. If I permit it, it is for your own good. If I say I will be with you and protect you from evil, it is because I will. You will prosper. I say it is my will that everything good that comes into your hands will be multiplied and blessed, and you will believe it. Doubt not and do not use your past failures or imperfections as an excuse. If you are to believe in me fully, also believe in my forgiveness. If you seek complete blessing, disregard the accuser, pay no attention to criticism or slander. Do not grant a foothold in your thoughts to the envious who aim to ruin your promising future. Instead of succumbing to fear and anxiety, feel my hand touching your heart. Be filled with joy, peace, hope, faith and confidence. I shall bring joy to your life and place praise upon your lips. Your life shall be different. 
Your blessing comes from heaven, and abundance shall grace your home. You shall be free from the chains of debt and errors that afflict your finances. It may appear to you that you are enduring times of scarcity, but listen, believe my words, and look around with the eyes of your faith. Be sensitive to the open doors and opportunities. Value and treat those you encounter on your path with kindness, for I shall bring many special people into your life who shall extend their hands to you, just as I do. Be friendly, be kind, treat all with respect, for I shall bless you and use you in astonishing ways beyond your imagination. All the wondrous things I desire to accomplish with you, especially during times of hardship. You shall rise, you shall shine in the midst of darkness, you shall shall be my witness. Let me tell you a secret, what you are reading and hearing, I share with many of my sons and daughters. Yet, not all believe me, and others refuse to receive what I offer, providing numerous excuses. They prefer to believe those who seek to enslave them in misery, sin, pain and sadness, dismissing my blessings, words and promises. But I tell you, love me, believe in me. It is imperative that you do so, otherwise, you may lose precious time hesitating and not accepting my blessings in your hands and legs. But I know that you are different. I have tested you many times. I know you believe in me, and I love you greatly. Receive my blessing now. You are in my hands, in my arms. I carry you under my shelter. I protect you. Fear not those who rise against you. They shall contend with me. Your problems may be numerous, but I shall deliver you. Those who wish to harm you shall be ashamed and confounded. Now you see how they surround you, seeking to defeat you, but I shall intervene. I shall assist you, and in a few days, you shall turn your face, and your enemies shall be no more. Many are enraged, because they cannot overcome you. They do not realize that your greatest friend defends you, your God, your Savior. Have faith, believe in me. There are no impossibilities for me. Believe and act. I am with you. Act in advance with confidence. I have increased your faith. I have empowered you to walk on water and to fight and defeat any malignant force. For you no longer fight alone. You have become brave, no longer fearful. Fears and anxieties are left behind. Lift your sword and continue in the battle. Prepare for the blessings that shall come. You shall conquer the land before you. I shall provide the answers and the way out in all situations. I have anointed you with my spirit to heal and encourage many hearts. I shall bless your family, bring peace and harmony to your home. Soon you shall feel something different. My presence shall reign in your house and all the malevolent forces that have been causing distress shall flee and never return. Seek me and you shall find rest for your soul in me, in my promises, in my word. Your trust should reside. I am your God, your rock, your health, your strength, your salvation. Take my hand firmly and you shall not fall. I am your protector, your Lord, your healer. Declare now with all your might that you believe in me. Cling with all your heart to your faith in me. I love you. I have been, I am, and I shall always be with you. I want you to pray for your family. You need to do it. Your prayer is effective and powerful. You have seen many times how I have answered. When you come into my presence, what your family has been going through has brought them many struggles. Perhaps you see smiles on their faces, but inside they are suffering. Come before my altar on your knees. Begin to intercede and cry out. I shall surround your family with a hedge of spiritual protection. I shall not permit the adversary to assail them. I shall deliver them from afflictions and mishaps. I shall instill wisdom within their hearts. I shall unlock the doors that were once sealed and they shall behold numerous opportunities that seemed concealed to them. I shall bestow upon them strength, peace, serenity, and inspiration to communicate with their beloved ones with tenderness, 
so that they never utter hurtful words and truly fathom their sentiments and understand the arduous situations they too are enduring when in their presence there will be tender caresses upon their heads and as you do so my benediction shall flow from your hands extracting all sorrow from their souls I shall shatter every chain and bring healing to their hearts speak to them my word ensuring they never forget my promises let my name be spoken in your home with reverence and watch as problems gradually dissipate and my presence reigns in your family a time shall come when you will witness with great joy the transformation of their lives their character shall evolve and many who appeared lost shall find their path and arrive at their blessed destination therefore cling to me and do not be disheartened by the negative circumstances you witness i possess a mighty plan and my plan unfailingly materializes no one can obstruct it however there must be someone in your home who fervently believes in me prays with unwavering faith and devotion and that someone is you pray for your family and i shall obliterate obstacles less and victory shall be yours i love you and i love them as well rest in me for in my hands i hold your present your future and the blessings destined for your life it is evidence that i have chosen you if you believe in and treasure my word those who seek to see you ashamed will be astounded by the supernatural miracles i shall perform in you in these days i raise your countenance wipe away your tears and grant you peace i bring happiness to your life come and listen to my promises every day open your bible sit in silence read and nourish your hungry heart grow stronger and feel the immense strength i am infusing within you sometimes you lift your eyes hoping for a response from the heavens but now i command you to look forward for i am already answering your prayers and petitions the things you have asked of me i am granting according to my will in your home someone must steadfastly believe in me sincerely pray with all their might and devotion and have faith without faltering and that someone is you pray for your family and i shall surround them with my heavenly army do not allow doubts to cloud your mind i will always love you your life is in my hands and i want to help you overcome these challenges to conquer discouragement to focus on the future to forge ahead without losing faith so you may triumph and prosper trust in me as your heavenly father feel the liberty to speak to me and share your needs for i want you to perceive me to feel me as a great friend i want to extend my hand to you and you can always count on me talk to me with your own lips express your thoughts your plans your deepest desires share your feelings for conversing with me benefits your soul and soothes your mind by expressing what you feel with your own words you activate your faith and miracles shall begin to occur this is the day to tell me everything you wish to convey but also to listen to me when i speak to you i am not judging you scolding you or reminding you of your past failures understand my child that my spirit is gently whispering in your ear I am telling you that I love you that I eagerly await each morning's light so you may open your eyes and with your thoughts tell me that you need me and love me these beautiful words are your worship your praise and they reach my throne as the sun rises my presence fills your life your family and your entire house so do not forget that in the midst of the challenges you face I am ready to assist you I will not withhold the good things you request. For your blessing, I will answer promptly, enveloping them in my love. Give me your thoughts, give me your heart. Place in my hands the concerns that are eroding your faith, your dreams. You do not have to endure these storms that begin in your mind any longer. Do not allow the winds of despair to carry you through the streets of pain. Whose words will you heed the cries of despondency? the lies of failure or the affectionate words spoken by my voice you do not have to wallow in sorrow 
when I have shown you time and time again, that if you believe in my word, I will fling wide open the gates of heaven for you. You are my child, and mine shall not dwell in darkness. My spirit accompanies you, comforts you, wherever you go. It is no coincidence that you are hearing this now. I have witnessed the conflicts in your life, the wounds inflicted by your adversaries in the past, and why you still suffer. But I have come to rescue you from this agony, to protect you with my wings, and to cover you with my shadow. Listen closely, read attentively, believe wholeheartedly. I do not want you to suffer anymore. What you are going through is not the result of my anger or displeasure. I love you dearly. Forever it must be clear that I have come to lift you definitively, to heal you from your despair, and to free you from failure. You must stand up, walk toward your blessing, even if you still feel weary, even if you are wounded and in pain. You must take steps of faith once more. Believe once more that you will receive miraculous healing the moment you decide to believe in me. At each step you take, you shall gain strength, and you shall heal completely. Rise up this very moment, for your life shall soon change. Do you know why? Because I love you, and I'm by your side, and that is all you need to know today. You may feel disheartened and sad, but as you read and listen to my words, your heart shall fill with peace, joy, encouragement, and faith. Do me a favor too, I shall ask of you something. Remember my sweet love throughout this day, recall it several times. But as for the painful memories that have marred your life, do not dwell upon them any longer. Days of prayer and recovery lie ahead, and blessings you thought were lost shall return. I shall open doors that remained closed, and from heaven I shall pour forth upon you many good things that shall bring prosperity and solace to your soul. You must walk forward from today with the conviction that I, your God, your Heavenly Father, omnipotent and filled with love for you, shall always be by your side, igniting the fire within you to live a purposeful life with zeal and determination. Feel it. Feel the burning desire within you to follow your King's commandments, and may you, sir, never be ashamed to believe in me and in my word. Rejoice when you witness all the things I shall do in your life and your family's life. For all who believe in me have the right to be heard in my presence and to receive the fruit and result of their faith and obedience. Expect miraculous and wondrous miracles soon. You shall witness many positive changes in the lives of your loved ones, and this shall fill you with joy. Therefore, even if you may see a few problems and occasional difficulties before you, Remain assured that I shall never depart from you. I shall always be with you in every moment and situation. I want to help you. You can speak to me with confidence and faith, but you must also be ready to listen to me. See, my written word will speak directly to your heart, filling you with my spirit, and you will realize that nothing and no one can ever snatch away. This newfound strength I have bestowed upon you. Promise me with your own lips that you will seek me every day with your love and faith, and I shall be waiting for you. I love you, and in this you can be certain. I have come to speak to you and touch your heart on this day when you need me most. My love for you is unconditional, genuine, and eternal. Nothing can separate you from this great love I feel and have for you, not even your own sins or mistakes, even if you have been distant from me. My loving hand reached out to you, delivering you from the things that bound you and stole your desire to live. When you invoke me, I am here. When you cry out in desperation, I open the doors of my heart to you. When I see you bend your knees, my eyes gaze upon you with tenderness. My grace envelops you, even when you must walk through paths of danger and bitterness. My presence shall illuminate your life amid all darkness. Before you were formed in your mother's womb, I knew you. I chose the exact time, the precise second, and the day on which you would be born. Nothing happens in your life without my will or approval. Even if you momentarily dislike what I am doing in your life, one day you shall realize and acknowledge that I did it for your good, 
to strengthen you, to make you grow, and because I always have something better for you. My plan is to elevate you to a higher level of faith and surrender. I want to place my resplendent sword in your hands, and when you speak my word, astounding miracles shall occur around you. You need not believe that you do not deserve what I want to do in you. Enough of that. See yourself for what you truly are, a child of the omnipotent God, a brave and resilient warrior filled with strength, determination, and victory. Believe this, for it is the result of receiving and embracing my love. You are not destined for defeat. After these tribulations that you shall overcome with your faith, the beautiful blessing of victory awaits you. Embrace my presence as it encompasses all that you encounter. Imagine it as a radiant shroud of light enveloping you and your surroundings. I am guiding you to maintain an awareness of me in every circumstance you face. In moments of uncertainty or solitude, remember, my presence is an ever-present comfort, much like a sheltering canopy of stars in a night sky. Consider the story of Jacob, who, fleeing from his brother, found rest on a stone in a barren land. Yet in his dreams he was shown a vision of heaven, angels, and received promises of my enduring presence. Upon waking he realized, truly the Lord is in this place, and I was unaware. This revelation is not confined to biblical times. It is a timeless truth for all who earnestly seek me. When you feel distant or disconnected, boldly declare, surely the Lord is in this place. Invite me then to open your eyes and heart to my ever-present guidance. This plea is one that fills me with joy to answer. In every step of your life's journey, I am with you. When you traverse through your challenges and joys, remember that my presence is a constant companion. It's in your moments of silence and reflection that you can hear my whisper, reassuring you of my love and guidance. Let this assurance be the foundation of your faith. When you feel overwhelmed by life's complexities, let this simple yet profound truth anchor you. Surely the Lord is in this place. As you go about your daily routines, let each moment be a reminder of my unwavering love and presence. In the mundane and the extraordinary, in your victories and your struggles, I am there. My presence is not just a comfort, it is a promise of strength, guidance, and hope. So ask for my presence to illuminate your life. It's a request that brings me great delight to grant. Remember, you are never walking alone. In your journey through life's labyrinth, be it through the thickest forests of doubt or over the steepest mountains of challenges, my hand is there to guide and steady you. In the quietude of your soul, you will find me speaking words of wisdom and peace. My voice is not just in the thunder and lightning, but also in the gentle breeze and the calming sunset. Every experience you undergo is woven into the fabric of your life with purpose and intent. Trust in my plan, fashioned with endless wisdom and boundless love. In times of uncertainty, find comfort in my eternal promises. Let my words be a guiding light in your path, leading you through the darkness to a dawn of understanding and peace. Thus, as you walk through life, let this truth be your stronghold and solace. Surely the Lord is in this place. May it be a source of strength and peace to you, today and always. When some basic need is lacking, time, energy, money, consider yourself blessed. Your lack is not a deficit, but an opportunity to cling to me with unreserved dependence. As you embark upon a day with what seems like inadequate resources, focus your energies on the present moment. This is where life unfolds, where I continuously await you. Recognizing your own insufficiency is a profound blessing, teaching you to trust in me wholeheartedly. Understand that self-sufficiency is an illusion, often bolstered by pride and ephemeral successes. The trappings of health and wealth, as tangible as they may seem, can vanish in a moment as swiftly as life itself can change. Embrace your inadequacies, and in doing so, find joy. For it is in your weaknesses, your moments of need, that my power is most vividly manifested and made perfect. This is a call to shift your perspective. In the world's eyes, lacking something might seem like a failure or a shortfall. 
Yet, in my divine economy, it is precisely these moments of lack that open the door to greater faith and reliance on my strength. When you feel depleted, when your resources seem scarce, that is when my presence becomes more tangible, my support more evident. In your moments of insufficiency, when the well of your own strength and resources runs dry, look to me. It is then that my power, my grace, and my love flow most freely into your life. These are the times when your faith is stretched and grown, when your dependence on me evolves from a mere concept to a tangible lived experience. As you journey through life's ups and downs, remember that my strength is most visible in your weakness. Do not despair when you face situations that seem beyond your capability. Instead, rejoice in your human limitations, for they are the very opportunities for my power to be displayed in your life. In your insufficiency, my sufficiency becomes more apparent. In your weakness, my strength is made perfect. Therefore, walk boldly into each day, not dismayed by what you lack, but encourage it by the knowledge that in your weakness you are strong, for I am with you. My power and grace are sufficient for you, and in your weaknesses, my glory shines brightest. Embrace each day, not as a struggle against insufficiency, but as an opportunity to experience my power and grace in its fullness. This is the essence of faith, finding strength in weakness, sufficiency in insufficiency, and power in dependency. In this divine paradox, you find the truest expression of my love and power in your life. So, rejoice in your weaknesses, for they are the conduits of my greatest work in you. Don't worry about your inadequacy. Instead, accept and embrace it. Your sense of lack is the very thing that connects you to my boundless sufficiency. When your resources appear insufficient, your instinct might be to give in to worry. The best response to this temptation is to openly acknowledge your limitations and express gratitude for them. This act of thanksgiving liberates you from the false notion that you must be your own savior and provider. Your human frailties and imperfections necessitate a savior who is infinitely strong and flawlessly perfect, a provider capable of fulfilling all your needs. Access to my limitless resources comes through a balance of stillness and action. Time spent alone with me, waiting in my presence, strengthens your connection to me. I actively work on behalf of those who wait for me, accomplishing for you what is beyond your own abilities. Yet, there are many tasks within your capability. As you engage in your daily activities, relying on the strength I provide, you bring glory to me and receive blessings in return. The next time you find yourself feeling inadequate, turn towards me without hesitation. I meet you lovingly at your point of need. Remember the words of Philippians 4.19, and my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. Additionally, Isaiah 64.4 reminds us, since ancient times no one has heard, no ear has perceived, no eye has seen any God besides you who acts on behalf of those who wait for him. Thus, in moments of perceived inadequacy, do not let your heart be troubled. Trust in my provision and care. Lean into your limitations, for they are the gateways to experiencing my power and grace. In your weakness, my strength is made manifest. In your insufficiency, my sufficiency fills the gaps. Embrace your neediness as an opportunity to deepen your reliance on me and watch as I transform your worries into a testament of my faithfulness. So walk forward with confidence, not in your own abilities, but in my never-ending provision and strength. Each moment of need is an invitation to experience my love and power in your life. In your inadequacy, find the fullness of my grace and the assurance of my unfailing presence. Amen. I don't want you to lose your way amidst your responsibilities and end up feeling exhausted and unsure of your path at the end of the day. I long to give you the strength to face challenges with unwavering courage. Let your faith shine through your gaze and know that my presence is with you. 
I hope you believe in this, for it will be so. Even if you have doubts, doors will. Still open, but another may enter while you hesitate due to disbelief. It's vital for you to renew your strength and the enthusiasm that drives you to dream and work diligently. With the faith you hold, you know it guides you to a better place. You've believed and persevered on this path, but the adversary prowls like a roaring lion, seeking those who doubt and are distracted. Your steps must be resolute, and your champion spirit will help you overcome and emerge victorious. I apologize to those who stand against you with deceit and advantage, for they become my adversaries as well. Those who oppose you will be defeated, and they won't return on what they believe they've taken from you. Do not fear, you will not lose, even if it seems like you've lost. Have faith, for everything happens for a reason, and I always have the best in store for you. Keep a spirit of courage and conviction, and don't let fear or despair take hold. Your future is one of goodness and blessing. I know it, wrapped in my eternal peace and love. Your family is also protected. I will greatly reward you for dedicating this time of your day to me. You will rise with supernatural strength. I will broaden your understanding and spiritual vision, allowing you to see and appreciate the wondrous blessings that await you. Keep that smile on your face. It brings me immense joy when you appear well. You resemble me at the end of the day. I want to see you here again for your own good. You are a beautiful soul, and I admire your demeanor. I am pleased with how you feel when you converse with me, when you close your eyes. How I adore your tender heart when it beats with the rhythm of joy, filled with divine happiness as I satisfy your being, removing any discomfort, pain, or illness. After listening to me, I want you to feel deeply loved. There's no need to walk. With dragging feet, disheartened, or lamenting your circumstances. I love you, and today you will feel it in many ways. I will demonstrate it. And with my powerful word, I will tell you, if anyone comes to bring you conflicts, you will immediately feel this divine love that fills you. If any situation causes you sadness, my embrace will cover you, removing all anguish, leaving your heart filled with happiness. Your family and friends will be astonished, asking what has happened to you, why you are so joyful. Your enemies will flee in terror, feeling powerless, because you did not fear them, nor let them make you suffer. There will be a supernatural wall of divine protection around you, outside your home. Thousands of angels will encamp, guarding your family day and night. Believe this with all your heart, this love I have for you is real as real as the air you breathe. It is more powerful and beautiful than any miracle you could ask for. My love surrounds you and gives you life. This is the greatest blessing you can receive, which is why I admire your grateful attitude every day. But you know well that I am real, that I watch over you and am attentive to your needs. With this faith you possess, you will rise, living, feeling, and knowing that you are a child of the Creator of the universe. With a confidence in every step, you will radiate happiness, my dear, and it moves me deeply to witness your unwavering character, your gratitude, and your beautiful heart. Come tomorrow, I will be here waiting to embrace you once again with my love. In the early hours of the day, before the sun rises, you have just opened your eyes, and I am already by your side showering you with abundant blessings. I give you the air you breathe, the brilliant light that illuminates your soul, and the strength of character to triumph and move forward despite the limitations and obstacles you encounter in your life. I am your omnipotent God, and I possess the power to help you navigate through all the mazes and entanglements that hinder your happiness. If you allow me to act according to my will, I can strengthen your emotions, dispel your fears, and convince your heart that you are not inferior to anyone. If you doubt your worth, if the people around you are judging you because you do not... I hope you understand me well, and if you are not believing in me, please read and listen again. Neither you nor your loved ones are under the influence of any evil power. 
All wickedness is defeated, every chain has been broken and every bond destroyed. I am speaking to you today because I have seen you veer away from your destiny and reject my path due to what people have told you that you are a bad person and unworthy of my love. If you place more trust in them and believe that their words hold more power, it truly offends me. Repent, I love you and I am demonstrating it to you where you are right now. Your heart is crying because you know my word is reaching you at the right moment. Decide to believe in me tomorrow. When you wake up, you will no longer dwell on failure. No one has you bound and you will not fear anyone's threats. I am with you and I love you. Separate yourself today from those who follow you with disdain. Do it for your family. Accept my love. Give me the place I deserve in your heart. In your journey through this day, let praise be your steadfast companion, lifting your spirit and anchoring your heart in the certainty of my presence. As you worship me, you step into a realm where time and trials lose their grip, where you and I connect in a sacred dance of love and reverence. Imagine, if you will, a space where the heavy cloak of depression, the shadows of fear and the chains of self-pity dissolve into nothingness. Worship is powerful. It's a force that even the darkest forces can't withstand. When you praise, you draw closer to me, sensing my power and glory. It's where your soul finds freedom and your spirit soars. Worship me because I'm worthy. The scriptures call you to honor me, giving the glory rightfully mine. It's more than devotion. It's a truth resonating in heaven and earth. In your darkest days, the light of my presence breaks through. Worship glorifies me, empowering you to rise above circumstances. In this light, find victory through faith and steadfast love. A cheerful heart is a fountain of healing. Believe in my victory over the world, rendering it powerless to harm you. My victory on the cross promises freedom, peace and unbreakable love. Consider its magnitude. It means nothing can sever my love for you. Meditate on these truths. Let joy flood you and be fortified spiritually, emotionally and physically. Be of good cheer, finding unending joy in me amid life's battles. Praise me for who I am, the source of blessings, giver of life. I desire to fill you with my essence, reflecting my love and joy to the world. Let these spiritual nutrients fortify you, bringing strength and resilience. Trust me, moment by moment, it's your fortress amid spiritual storms. Seek me in fleeting moments, quiet whispers. Let my presence be your shield against self-pity and shadows of depression. In darkness, trust me, taking steps with my guidance. Your resources in me are boundless. My spirit is ready to uplift and sustain you. Call on my name with trust, for my love surrounds you unyielding. In life's labyrinth, focus on me, not problems. Live supernaturally, buoyed by the Holy Spirit. Shift your focus from the seen to the unseen, from the temporal to the eternal. Anchor your soul in the truth of my presence and power. Live with your gaze fixed on me, problems in the periphery. This is the secret to living victoriously. Remember Peter's reaction in adversity. Sometimes the Father's intentions go beyond. Problem solving. Victory is assured in enduring and overcoming trials. Trials shape you for imperishable treasures in heaven. In your trials, my presence prevails. I turn defeat into true victory, glorifying the Father. Your troubles never catch me by surprise. They can't defeat me or thwart my eternal purposes for you. In trials, my love, mercy, grace and power prevail. Trust that I'm at work, turning defeat into victory. Nothing can separate you from my love and purpose. In challenges, hear my voice, follow my lead. With me, you're more than a conqueror, navigating hardships and emerging stronger, aligned with mine heart and purposes. So when troubles come, 
draw nearer to me, cling to my promises, and face them with confidence in me.